So from the ASCENT trial, which was a randomized phase three trial, which compared sesotuzumab gotekin versus physician choice chemotherapy, we'd seen this improvement in overall survival and other outcomes like progression-free survival and response. But one of the questions has been, well, how does this translate into the real world? And so we did an analysis, uh, which included about 500 patients or so. One of the other notable things about this population is about a quarter of patients were uh, self-identified as black. And we'd seen in other studies, of course, uh, the CEN trial as well, that our patients who are underrepresented minority, and minorities can also be underrepresented in our clinical trials as well. And one of the reassuring things that we saw in this, in this particular analysis was that you know, we had the same sort of real world overall survival that we saw in the ASCENT trial, you know, a little over a year. Um, and then we saw the same um, rates of toxicity. One of the things that we did see was that a little bit greater than 50% of patients were taking growth factor support. And then the majority of patients who required growth factors uh, in the real world with sesotuzumab gubitikin also required it previously on other lines of treatment. Uh, but it was good to see and reassuring to see that you know, from the pivotal trial that we're seeing the same sort of outcomes, including overall survival and including efficacy and including uh, um, uh, their um, toxicity profile as we did in the uh, randomized trial.